Hello, viewer. Um, it's January 2015, and I just wanted to give you an update on my health and what's going on. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you. I've gotten some feedback on my other videos, and um, I've had some some very positive responses and also some people who made some suggestions that were really helpful. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And um, once again, I'm always receptive to suggestions or ideas you might have. So um, like I said, it's January 2015. I just wanted to give you an update of what's been going on. In December of 2013, I started taking a folate supplement, and I believe I told you that whole story of how I met my cousin and um, started taking the folate. And silly me, <laughs> I know this about myself. If, there's, if something is good, then it's worth overdoing. And I believe that I caused some of my own problems. Um, first of all, I did have the 23andMe genetic testing done, and it did show that I was a heterozygous mutation for gene 1298, but not 677. So there's, there's some validity to this, I mean scientific validity to this, but um, the folate has been working, and it was working phenomenally until August of this year. In August, I kind of started noticing that, uh, as we say, the cheese slid off my cracker. The, uh, I, I started noticing that I was having problems with my thinking. And I was also starting to have a reluctance with reading again. And um, it was predominantly because my thoughts would slow down. So, uh, I ramped up my folate, which probably wasn't the best idea in retrospect. I was originally taking folic acid at 400 milligrams because that's the only thing I could find over the counter. Then I switched to folate that I found on Swanson Health, really reasonable prices, and they have a 400 milligram and an 800 milligram, kind of their generic supplement. Um, and then uh, I switched over to Thorn, which makes an excellent product. They're a really good company. And they make their product in either 1,000 milligrams or 5,000 milligrams. So I was taking 1,000 milligrams. And when I started noticing that something crazy was going on in August, I ramped it up to 5,000 milligrams. And um, apparently I overdid it. Not to mention, I also was taking, I started taking a, um, just a daily vitamin, and I didn't even realize that it had 400 milligrams of folic acid in it also, so that probably didn't help. So the bottom line is, like I said, in August, I noticed my symptoms were coming back, and I, I just kind of ignored it because I did not want it to be happening, but it couldn't be denied, and I was able to go back and chart it after it had been going on for a little bit, and I was realizing there was a pattern to it again, and sure enough, there was my old friend, the dark passenger, every two weeks for four days. Good Lord, my brain is persistent. So the, in December, the beginning of this month, which right after Thanksgiving and before Christmas, I had a full-blown cycle. It was the first one in over a year but it was just as bad as it had ever been. Uh, just the same dizziness and um, speech problems and, you know, cover one eye, the whole thing. It, it was all wacky. So, I mean, I, I, you can imagine. I just, I was so disappointed and upset and worried and all of those things. Um, and I, I even tried to hit it hard. I, I ramped up to 10,000 milligrams during that time that I was having issues and then I I did some reading afterwards and I just I quit cold turkey and um, a couple days later I started up again and now I'm taking 800 milligrams a day again like I was in the beginning and it seems to have helped because I was expecting another cycle to happen right around Christmas time and it didn't so um, not perfect. Um, had a little bit of thinking issues, and my uh, this this chest shoulder area has really been bugging me. But for the most part, it's better than it was, and it's it's giving me a little bit of hope again. 
So um, this year we moved to Miami and um, I just did some research, lucky for me, I've got Obamacare. Um, it turns out that there's a headache institute here. I have an appointment to see a neurologist towards the end of this month. The one thing I never investigated and uh, someone suggested in one of the forums that I've been talking to and I really need to, to check this out is a cardiologist. I just, I need to get a clean bill of health for um, my artery because it is so stroke-like and that is a blood flow issue. If every, I've already had a transcranial Doppler, I've already had an MRA. I mean, I've had a lot of the things that would make me think that migraines are the only answer at this point, but that still feels like such a catch-all to me. I just, I, and I feel like there needs to be more of a reason why it's happening. And it's awesome that the folate supplementation is helping, but, um, you know, it would be wonderful to have a concrete resolution. So that's where I'm at. Things are better, had some problems, working on things being better again, and gonna continue with my quest to see if I can get a better answer because especially the positional part of my illness is so bizarre. Uh, and even in August and this past year when it all came back um, gradually, it's, there's just, there's something so mechanical about it. It just feels like there should be a better explanation than just saying that it's a migraine disorder. But I'm willing to accept whatever the answer is as long as it would stop and go away. It, it really, and I'm sure you can appreciate this if you're watching this, it, it's very stressful, nerve-wracking, frustrating, upsetting. I, I don't even know what words to use, but it, it just, it prevents you from having a real life. I mean, I found myself after almost a year of not worrying about it, having to check the calendar again, having to look ahead if I got invited to go somewhere and do something to see if it was gonna be affected. And after such a long period of time and with moving to a new area and new community, you know, do I share it with people? Because, you know, if something happens and the cheese comes off my cracker when I'm with them, you know, how's that gonna look? Or, or you know, are they gonna be worried about me and try to take me to the hospital and I won't even be able to talk and communicate? Okay, all right, I feel myself spooling up. That's another thing I'm working on is the breathing. Because when you're stressed, I mean, there isn't a whole lot you can do about it except try to control the things that you can. Thank you for watching. Once again, any suggestions, comments, I'm very receptive. Thanks again.